Greetings everyone and welcome, not back, just welcome to Legend of Grimrock. Today we're gonna, we're gonna play this a little, I, I started playing it on my own and I really like it and I thought I'm gonna do video on it. And I'm pretty far in the game with my main party. I'm actually... I don't know how fucking long. 14 hours already, Jesus. I'm in the last level, level 10. And I think there's like level 11 maybe, and 12 and that's end of the game. But I don't want to spoil too much, since I'm so far in. And this will be a let's play, not a first button cut, but just to give you an idea... Uh, how the game looks, we're gonna... We're gonna make some characters, quick. Or at least show you how it looks. You can create own characters and play in old school mode. Old school mode is so you don't have map, so you can like draw your own map like in old school RPGs. And create characters, well obviously you have three difficulty settings which most basically have more health and move faster, so makes it hard to dodge. And you can make four prisoners. You have a bunch of races you can pick from. Like human, minotaur, lizardman, insectoid. And you can have fighter, mage and rogue. So you can make those if you want. Each of these classes have like different abilities and there is like threats. There is a bunch of actually only two special race based threats which is headhunter for minotaur. Which gives you bonus damage for every skull you're holding. And there is natural al armor, which is bonus armor, and that's only for insectoids. So, hey, I did. What? What? What did I? Oh, okay. I don't have any bonus portraits. Okay, that that's what it was. <laughs> so, this is basically it. Mage is pretty interesting, we have all these different types of magics, spellcraft and staff defense. Warrior have like basically athletics, armor, axes, maces, swords, or unarmed combat, which I actually have like monk unarmed combat guy. And yeah, and rogue, actually, uh, let's, let's load like one of my earlier, earlier saves. Is everything on level 10 now? Shit. Okay, that is level 2, like really early in the game, for example. So this is like hex based, I mean, not hex based. Tile based dungeon crawler. If you remember ever seeing like really, really old games, like RPGs where you move like that, you have just this one small screen which represents the dungeon and you move on it about like that. You have your characters here usually, you have your inventory and stuff and everything you like pick is like you need to interact with this shit. And there is a lot of puzzles which are pretty clever actually. So sometimes you need like take torch out or you need place torches in the right, right order to like open places. And sometimes it's pretty, pretty more slight forward but the mistake I did this is how spells works, by the way. I don't remember what kind of spells... No. <laughs> how far I am. Added magic level 3, so I have only Poison Cloud. And to cast Poison Cloud... It's... I think... Yeah, it's something like this. You need you need know the basic like runes order to mark them to cast the spell, which is pretty good. And actually it's pretty satisfying. And I don't know, at least for me it's pretty easy to remember some kind of spells I can use and some I cannot. I don't know why, it's maybe because I have like memory to such things. So here I have my melee guy, but when I make this party I didn't knew, I didn't figure out at the beginning that I made three warriors instead of one rogue. And if you have rogue you have like bows or missiles weapons which is like throwing knives, throwing axes or something. And guy which is behind never can attack because it's like they they stand in such order 
So, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like wondering why this guy doesn't leveling up really well. Although if you have a spear, you can give him a spear. So he can attack. He can still use a bow, you know. You can still give him a bow and she You just don't have like bonuses from skills. And different skills like give different bonuses for that go you in. As you can see here, you get more stats. You have like armor proficiency or special special attacks, which can get executed eventually. So yeah, here you here I have map. You can mark stuff on map, which is also pretty old school. And I don't know how to move further back. I think maybe I need to go to stairs to move further back. But basically, the story of this game is like. You are these four prisoners, which are sent on top of uh, the rock, the Grim Rock Mountain, which is like this big fucking boulder in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this is going upstairs. And this is save points. And they also refresh your fucking health and stu uh, stuff. Man, I actually doing kind of review of this game instead of playing it actually. <laughs> Yeah, but I really, I as soon I booted this game up, he like you had to like find these gems and put it in his eyes, and you have like these little hints. Heal my sight, for example. So yeah, this is pretty pretty cool, and this game is so fucking immersive. Actually, I'm just enjoying the whole concept, like this dungeon crawling and this mode. It took me a while to figure out to hit stuff. You need to actually right click this. <laughs> so yeah, you see if I take this rock here. Okay, maybe. Oh yeah, there you go. That gets close. So yeah, foot there you go, the dungeon like changes. And basically you get thrown in the in this hill on top of this mountain. And low lower you go, which is higher level, which is like deepest level. You like seek your redemptions for your sin. Like if you manage to survive like end of Foo, the rock of Grimrock, or like dungeons of Grimrock, if you get all the way down and get out somehow, then like all your sins and crimes get forgotten. So, I have like my second, second characters. Oh, which is also the same level. This is on hard mode. So, and also I don't have map, which I kind of wanted to do for achievement, you know? But to tell you the truth, I don't think I'm gonna like this game is really long. I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> try to get all secrets because there is shitload of secrets hidden in walls and stuff. Uh, okay, I have ice magic on this guy. Ice magic is good because you can sometimes throw enemies, which helps you execute. Which helps you execute hits because I could like focus on my armor and let him hit me. But as soon as you have like space to fight them, you should you should try avoid them as much as you can. Okay, there is some food. Yeah, you also need like eats from time to time, so that's a thing. Okay, I don't remember was there any secrets in this room. I mean, if you played the game twice, then I have someone which actually carries a bunch of boulders. Yeah, my mage does. Okay, my mage here. Ooh, a peasant cap. Sure, why not? Um, if you played the game once, you can just like load the save where you are far in and check them up if you really want to. So this is like one method to do it, I guess. Uh, I, I also like collecting torches because it's easier to see. Although if you have spellcraft, and I do, but I don't have it high enough. At level five, I get spell which gives light, and I can't, I cannot like use it right now yet. But man, this game is so so cool. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just kind of my my kind of thing. And the thing is. I, I play a lot of like old fucking games, right? I really like old games in general. Ooh, the dogs. And I think this is 
the same place I just been in, in, in the other safe. Yeah, <laughs> coincidence. Because torches run out, that's why I like try to collect as much as I can. Okay, some pants. I don't see any. Ooh, you have this. My mine damage dealer. What I went for here? Two rogues. Which one will be dagger based and other one I plan to do like missile weapons, which is throwing weapons, which makes me wonder why you are not fucking carrying this. I don't remember the names I gave them even. Um, okay. I change controls because usually in the right click and I, I often find myself get confused and doing left click. So this time, this time, I'm gonna give torch to my insectoy Sheri because she's a mage and she will become very powerful mage. They get some bonuses to willpower. This will be my missile weapons. Oh no, missile whip! Ah, my bad. Missile weapons is like bows and stuff, and. Throwing weapons is okay. I know everything now. I mean, whatever. You can you can have it. So let's jump in and try and try not to die, shall we? I think that would be pretty pretty cool. Ah, fuck! I get used to using spells. This spell is also good because it hit hit three tiles forward. So, you know, it's always good if you have like to fight in parallels and stuff. Oh shit, I just I just fucked myself over. But lucky enough, it's fine. If you don't have torch, of course you can see just like one tile forward or even barely. Okay. Um, my front rogue gonna get like assassination, which is bonus damage if you hit guy from back uh, and daggers. I think that was my plan originally. What I was saying? <laughs> okay, yeah, I I didn't I never like played old school RPGs. I don't remember fucking names even. I think it was like Eye of Beholder or something and dungeon something. I don't know, maybe if I gonna find like some... I know how these games look, so look, a key. I know how these games look. So... I gonna drop some like, some on screen now, so you get an idea what, what this is based off. And I went for the maces here, if I remember. I went for swords. Hmm. There you go then. Some items you can throw further than others, so we also need to keep mind of that. I, I learned this the hard way. Because there was a puzzle where you need like throw shit and teleport when it appears. I was one of the... I think in the whole game I look up solutions maybe twice or three times. And after I seek the solution and I seen what I actually supposed to do there. I was like, shit, that wasn't really that fucking hard. I mean, if I like spend more time on it, I would figure it out. So the the puzzles are, are, are clever and what the fuck am I supposed to go now? Oh yeah, wait, wait a minute. What he's doing, what he is doing is level second spell you get as earth magic. Just poison bolt. I cannot focus today. What so fucking ever? <laughs> so yeah, I needed this key for something, definitely. Oh, there you go. Come on. Yeah, and if you like, do you that? If you do like you know, left click to attack, usually left click this to pick shit. That's why I get so pissed and confused. So now I need open inventory and actually drag it if I need to. 
if it's in his hand directly. Can I put you? Yeah, sure. Have two targets. Why not? What do we have here? Shelter left, cells right. Okay. Um, why are you not using this? Oh, I don't have spellcraft yet. I do. Yeah, this gives like better magic and some willpower. There's just a bunch of stuff here. I think there's one stuff and then you get like orbs. By the way, it says shelter left. I think... There was a fucking secret somewhere here. I vaguely remember... Maybe... There you go. My memory is not as bad as I thought so. Okay, we have some armor. I think that's really it in this room. Yeah, always better to have some than none, which is obvious. Now we can check the cells. Oh, hello. Fuck. And XP in this, as far as I know, the guys who manage to get successful hit gets full XP and whoever like doesn't get a hit or misses gets half of the XP. That's why my, my warrior, which I thought is a rogue and which I thought can attack from back, was leveling so slowly. Easy. Easy. Okay. I remember you be you were you supposed to be able to go. Okay, there are arrows, so this is always a good thing. Oh, and there is a a secret door, and I don't have a key. Shit. Sometimes there is like uh, one like chunk of stone. Wait a minute. Which you can press on wall. That's why I'm looking at walls sometimes. But in this particular section of game, I was really early, so I don't remember it all that well. Okay, this is beginning. And I've been here already. Unless I missed some key. Huh. And if you get lower, the, the walls like change. Like you, the dungeon looks different. It's like every like three or four levels maybe. So in those, those walls, this fucking thing you can press always always looks the same but in the lower levels there is two different wall buttons which are easy to miss one is like in similar place is like the square or there is like a rune on one of those which you need to press and this and when you get used to, to looking up here you're totally gonna miss this fucking rune on the beginning unless you find it like for the first time What is this other key? Unless I have some other key. Maybe I get, did grab... Oh, someone is hungry. There's also alchemy in the game. Later on you find mortar. Oops. Huh. Which lets you like mix different stuff, but you're gonna need a bottle as well. And after drinking potion, you, you're you gonna be left off with empty bottle. So that... That's how you're gonna make like healing potion and stuff. I didn't found any schools yet from what I can see. Wait, she's hungry. You can rest, like pressing Z, you sleep, you sometimes get these visions of someone talking to you. 
You know what? Let's let's take more of those. And in this playthrough, I I went heavily on like vitality to get more health. And I'm like totally fucking lost already. Great. That's that's how much fucking harder this play without the map, you know? Because it's so really easy to get confused when you have this area where all these things like look very similar. Okay, this is this room where I've been. I don't think any kind of key was here. It looks really pretty too, I think. And this is Legend of Grimrock 1. That is Legend of Grimrock 2, which I just can't can't wait to get into at some point, you know? And I think you can dual wield there. And here is just depending whatever you press. Come on. I don't remember how to... How to get through here. Oh, there you go. There you go. See? It's just like... You just need to look around a bit. As I remember, here was fucking thing, so... Don't fool me. Oh, there you go. Sacred found. So, another thing worth noticing is as mage, you sometimes get spell depending on the school of magic you pick, that you can enchant arrows and crossbow bolts with different effects, like this is poison arrow. If I find bow, okay, this seems like pretty... Pretty easy. They lose enchantment on hit, but then you can just enchant them again. You just give it to your mage. So they... Oh! I don't think this thing hits it, actually. Oh, a lot of misses. I just want to, like get him here because it's so much easier to fucking fight than open there's like whole set of armor which relies on evasion there is heavy armor there's even some achievements for collecting all pieces and wearing wearing whole thing you know come on oh was that a hit? There you go. Hits you after all. Jesus, man. I would like to use something else than my rock. Hmm. Fine. I'm gonna find plenty of rocks. The reason I'm using these rocks is because I know there is also achievement for throwing. I remember being stuck here. No weapons allowed inside. So... What I was doing, I was like de-equipping all fucking weapons from my guys, hoping this shit will open and stuff. Well, that is a safe point. Okay, I think after like this level, there's some some puzzles get like more serious and stuff. So, but the solution for this is actually quite easy because you have this thing here, and all you need to do is put weapon here, and then bam. And I am out of energy. There should be another one. Who you asshole? That was prefire, you cheaty son of a bitch. Like once you get get used to controls, it's really really easy to play this. Okay, he needs some foodies. Food drops quite slowly, but you want to ensure. You have a lot of it, so like you eat only when you need to, 
just later in game, you're like gonna have this lizard thing, which is gonna drop meat, and bam, it's gonna drop meat. Oh, you know what? I never found this. This is secret I I just discovered for the first time. I didn't know about this. This will be dexterity, which surely will be good for my range guy. I pr probably should save here. So yeah, it's just like slacks and stuff for now. Oh, I remember this one. Enter thy grave. I remember this shit. This would be hard one. As I remember this, I think. Holding says. Yeah, I remember this. This will be more tricky. There is this guy here. And by pressing shit, the teleports change position and stuff. And we are interested in this bug, particularly. But at some point, this guy gonna teleport to us. Unless there is another button and they like rotate the direction, but I don't think so. Yep, there we go. They are immune to poison, for obvious reasons. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And all we need to do is just keep pressing this. There you go. Also, what is nice, you can take this box which you find. Key! And light armor. You can have it for now. Need to like. Guys on back can't be hit. Unless you get hit from sides or back. So that's also like worth something to note. And now I have this bag, which I can use to store some shit which I don't want like mess around with. Like these papers. Some scrolls like give you hints what to do, where to go, or how to solve puzzles. Like I found one scroll which was saying some directions and two levels deeper it was actually useful. Well, uh, I should like warp this video soon. But I think, I think we can try this room, but I, I gonna need more light to make this work actually. Okay. What if I throw stone there though? Or torch. Okay. This goes four tiles or three tiles. If I gonna press it... Huh? Oh no, it's not this one. Or is it? Yeah, it's this one. It's just one guy though. There is another room where you get like fucking bunch of four guys in one tile. Oh shit, this might be this door. Although I was clever about it because... Okay, that didn't do that shit. I need more mana! Shit, I should rest. Okay, I, I can go this way. Also, I'll throw a balls, like throwing knives and shit. All this drops backs for you after you kill a guy. Oh shit, I almost picked the right, ro right, right, wrong direction. Oh my god, this fucker. This will take a while. Oh no! This guy is almost dead! Shit! It's fine though, because now I am out of space, so... As long the other guy, other skeleton, won't go to me, then we should be good.
Okay. It's one thing. I don't think they drop anything else. If you like rest in not closed space and monsters which are around actually can get to you, they're gonna eventually get to you. So, <laughs> if you want to rest, it's good to ensure that. Oh! This guy just wanted to teleport. Okay. I don't mind. Fuck him. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know this one actually. Ice shards. This is what I'm using at the moment. Bone. Believe it or not, this shit will be useful in level 9, so keep keep into that, okay? And I think I just fucking closed myself. And the guy came back. Fuck. As soon as they are well filled, they're gonna regenerate. There's like disease damage you can get, then... Then you won't regenerate, even even in game and even in resting. And like poison effect and stuff usually like warms off at some point, so... Don't worry about it too much. There you go. Easy. We have two keys now, which gonna allow us to open this area, if I remember right. Yep. One. Two. Bam. So yeah, that was Legend of Grimlock, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a really cool game. I enjoy it a lot. I play it quite a lot whenever I find time to play it. So... Let's heal ourselves. Let's do backup save. And yeah, I wish you guys have a lovely weekend. And I'm gonna see you with more something next time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and farewell!